what kind of doctor am I? I am a urologist and I specialize in robotic and endourology as well as oncology and stuff. My patients call me Dr. Ike or Dr. Ogwaja 4 or Dr. O on the Zebrato Medical Platform, which aims to connect black scientists with communities of color in the nation. Any physician would tell you that being a doctor takes a long time, but although it takes a long time, it is something that is very rewarding and very challenging. And uh, when you start practicing, uh, you would actually find out that you have a lot of impact in the lives of your patients as well as your community. I'll kind of break it down. Uh, undergraduate studies took uh, four years, uh, and then uh, medical school is another four years. After that, you start a residency. I did residency in a program that uh, the time frame was five years, but in some other uh, institutions, it can be as long as six years. And afterwards, I did a fellowship for a year. Um, so in total, uh, from undergrad to actual practice is around 14 years. I know that some people will hear 14 years and uh, they will start counting and uh, getting scared. Now, the thing about 14 years is that when you're in school, uh, you are also learning and practicing. So it's not just 14 years of classroom study the entire time. Um, the first two years of medical school, yes, you're in, in, in classes, uh, but the last two years, you're actually getting your feet wet and you're seeing patients and taking care of patients. Residency, you're doing that pr practically every day. So it's the time should not scare anybody because it goes extremely fast. And I think any physician who's out in practice would tell you that when they look back on how long it took them to get to where they, where they are now, um, they will it seems like it was yesterday, basically. So do not get discouraged. The question I always get is, uh, how did you choose urology? Uh, I will tell you that I didn't start out <laughs> wanting to be a urologist. I stumbled on urology, luckily. Uh, initially, I was gonna be a neurosurgeon, um, but uh, during our clerkship in medical school, uh, that is when I kind of found urology uh, by accident. And uh, I ended up uh, paying attention to the field and um, falling in love with it. In the world of medicine, especially in surgery, uh, there is a lot of technologies that are coming out. And in terms of uh, being able to be on the cutting edge of, of medicine, uh, urology is on that cutting edge of medicine. Uh, we get to work with uh, things like lasers and robots um, and we get to do really, really cool stuff. In terms of patient care, the patient population spans from pediatric all the way into the geriatric range. So that was also something that I really like because you get to know your patients and you actually get to take care of them for a very long period of time, you know, during their lifetime. So, and a lot of men in general, if they, they may never, see a cardiologist or any other type of physician, but they have a high, high likelihood of uh, uh, having a urologist at some point in their lives. What is the salary range for urology? Um, in this scenario, you have to break it down into uh, two buckets. There is the private practice urologist and there is the academic urologist. Um, I'm in private practice, so I can speak about private practice. Um, academic urology, I don't know really well uh, in terms of how the solid structure is, but in private practice, you you have obviously a small business and you have you know things like overhead and and whatnot. So basically, at the end of the day, an average urologist in the United, in the United States uh, who is uh, relatively busy would make anywhere between uh, three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, who are the mentors in urology? Um, my mentors were, were mostly uh, uh, people uh, who I met during uh, uh, medical school. Uh, the first uh, urologist I met was a pediatric urologist and he was actually one of my big mentors. He was the one that explained to me uh, what is involved in terms of uh, going into urology. Um, and I, you know, uh, basically fell in love with, with uh, urology, following him around in clinic. Um, 
So I think mentorship is something that is very, very important. You know, I, I wouldn't tell this to residents now. I say, find somebody who is doing exactly what you want to do and just follow them around and ask them all the questions you have. Um, so mentors are really, really important and very great. Uh, if, uh, if somebody is there to kind of show you the way or explain certain things that you may not be aware of, in terms of how competitive it is to get into urology, uh, I will tell you that I was one of those people who were um, ignorant in the sense that I didn't know how competitive it was. I only found out after the fact. Um, urology is a very competitive field, kind of like any other surgical subspecialty. I think when I interviewed, um, I think that urology, in terms of um, how many people are applying every year, it was ranging somewhere between um, 2,000 applicants, uh, but they were taking about 230 spots a year. I'm not 100% on that, but that's kind of roughly the number. It's about, you know, roughly 10%. So it's very hard to get into, but, uh, you know, at the same time, um, I would say do not be discouraged in terms of what the percentages are. Um, what you want to do is be a very good uh, candidate and be strong in, uh, in terms of your application and your qualifications and uh, uh, the rest will take care of itself. What is the percentage of black urologists? That is a question I have to actually uh, tell you. I don't know. I can tell you that by going to national conferences and meetings and uh, um, you know, being in the field, uh, I see roughly about less than 1% of the urologists that I see are uh, African-American or black urologists. Um, that number is just my own assumption. Uh, I bet that their American Board of Urology may have the correct statistics on this. So I maybe have to get back to you guys on that. But who would do well in urology? Um, the person that would do well in urology is uh, the physician that enjoys uh, getting to know their patients. Somebody who is who has attention to detail and also somebody who uh, uh, likes to uh, be on the cutting edge of uh, technology because um, I tell current residents that all the training I had when I was in residency has completely changed. The way I practice urology is not, I'm not doing, uh, uh, a lot of the major cases I do are done differently now compared to the what I learned when I was doing training. So somebody who is very, very adaptable, somebody who can change with the times and change with technology and change with the knowledge base uh, that, is, that is needed in order to succeed, succeed in the field would be somebody who would do very well in urology. What advice will I give a potential future urologist uh, who is still in undergrad or medical school or even residency um, I would say that the biggest advice I would, I would give is to try to try to be the best that you that you know that you can be um, be very uh, conscientious be very uh, studious um, pay attention uh, and uh, these are qualities that will serve you well uh, when you actually start practicing urology um, Urology is one of those fields that, like I said in the beginning, um, you get to know your patients very well. And we also deal with uh, things that are very sensitive uh, in terms of, you know, patients, you know, be it incontinence. So you also have to be somebody who's very compassionate. Um, and these are things that, you know, you have to learn and be able to uh, talk to people easily uh, and uh, non-judgmentally and uh, uh, so that you can get down to what the real cause of their problems are so you can help them. So these qualities, I think, uh, you know, things you know, outside of, uh, you know, doing great on your board scores and studying and all that stuff, you also have to develop the humanistic uh, aspects in order to excel well uh, in urology. Um, in terms of studying, um, my advice, uh, anybody in medical school is uh, just don't read textbooks all the time. You actually have to do questions. Mm. I tell this to every single medical student I've ever seen. Don't, it, you, the content, you're, you get it from classroom, you, you know the basics, you know all these things, but you have to do practice questions. That, and the reason I say this is, this is something that was difficult for me. It took me a long time to discover that, um, that it's not just study, study, study. Uh, you actually have to practice, meaning you have to question, you know, quiz yourself, question 
um, you know, find a study group, find uh, a study partner, uh, people that you study with that you guys can actually assess uh, what you know and that would serve you immensely well. Thank you.